after development the very next thing you have to do as a consultant or even from the quality point of view or client point of view the testing activity and what we do in testing how we do testing who will be doing testing how the testing will be formed how the test matrix planning activity should be done how what is script how the script will be created what are the phases in testing what are the types of testing all of these processes we will discuss and remember if you are very strong in testing even you can get into testing roles as a functional consultant package would be same role would be functional consultant but you are more involved into the testing less involved into the development right so that is what testing is so before you go let's understand testing means checking validating or okay doing verification for all your development activities that you have performed two things first is you have to check whatever you have developed it is working fine or not that is which that is called your unit testing already we have discussed but the testing is primarily done from the client point of view from the business point of view end up there is they are paying us money and they need to check whether the functionality is developed by the uh, consulting team is working fine or not and that is where they will be doing testing or we call it quality testing or we call it client testing or we call it user acceptance testing or we call it business acceptance testing so testing means primarily that is the focus area on top of that definitely you will be also doing your own development testing or own object that whatever, whatever you have developed those areas you have to test it that is that would be by default there but beyond this client has to do the testing and this again it would be a completely new activity and there would be a testing kick start and testing will be performed like testing planning will be done budget would be assigned cost would be assigned teams will be formed system access will be given as usual testing will be formed testing will be done after that test evaluation will happen after test evaluation the test sign off will happen once the testing sign off is over all the testing is over for all the solution not only for sdmma5 whatever solutions they are implementing all the testing is over then only we will go for the final go live and before final go live there will be other activities we'll discuss as we go ahead but for timing this is testing testing means verifying validating checking or testing the objects that we have developed as a consultant or the client has to test all the objects that has been developed by the development team to see if the functionalities the required functionalities are reflecting in the system or part of the transaction or part of the process getting it that is testing is the process of verifying validating or checking the objects that we have developed okay based on the client requirement okay once the development activity is over for the process then the testing will be performed once the development activity is over for the process then the testing will be performed okay and we do the testing activities in the final preparation of the project we'll talk about final preparation later point but for timing as testing is the main object we are writing uh, we are discussing directly at the testing part but it under it comes under the final preparation activity of this set see what is right here once the development activity is over for the process then the testing will be performed and we do the testing activities in the final preparation of the project okay this is from the quality point of view i'm talking about but if you talk about the unit testing if specifically in interview they ask you when you perform the unit testing then you have to say we perform the unit testing activities in the development phase 
for the developed objects. Already I have told you that. But this testing we are talking about majorly from the final preparation or the quality testing point of view. This is also called this is also called quality testing or client testing, quality testing, client testing or business testing. This is also called quality testing, client testing or business testing. All right. This testing activity is performed. Testing activity is performed in the quality server in UAT test client. Right? This testing activity is performed in the quality server in UAT test client by the client UAT team. By the client UAT team or the business team. Or the client business team. This is also called quality testing, client testing or business testing. This testing activity is performed in the quality server in UAT test client by the client team or the client business team or the by, by the business users. Next you can write even or by the business users. By the business users. Alright. Clear? Yeah. In the process of testing, in the process of testing, the okay, UAT team validates, UAT team validates, in the process of testing, the UAT team validates the functionalities, comma, the screens, the transactions, data flow, integration, authorization, performance, and logic of the system. In this process, in this testing, what the UAT team does, they check the functionalities, the screens, the transactions, the data flow, the integration, the authorization, the performance of the system, and also logic of the system. All of these we'll discuss in depth as we go ahead, but for time being, what you test, if the question comes in interview, what you test, part of the UAT testing, you have to say, we primarily check the functionalities, the screens, the transactions, the data flow, the integrations, the authorization, the performance, and the logic of the system. This is what the UAT team or the BAT team, UAT is called user acceptance team, uh, testing, or even it is called also BAT. BAT is also the same term. It is called business acceptance testing. End of the day, whatever development we have done as a development team, we are not the owner of the system. The owner of the system is the business or the users or the client. And they have to test and check if the functionalities are working fine, if the screens, whatever screen designs we have, they have asked for that is looking fine. The transactions are working fine. The data flow is happening. The integrations are working fine. The authorization, the required authorization and security is maintained. Performance of the system is up to date. Like there is no performance issue. And logic of the system is as per the requirement. So all of these areas, the BAT, UAT or client team, we call them client UAT team or we call them BAT team or we call them the 
UAT type, whatever terms you say. All these areas, they have to do the testing to see if everything looks fine or not for the completed development tasks. Until and unless the development is completed, you cannot move into the testing. So one process, process one, development completed, process one, testing will start. Process two, development completed, process two, testing will start. And part of this, the client has to check it, whatever the development activity the developers have performed, it is working fine or not, as per the requirement mentioned in the BBP, business blueprint. And this process is called testing. The interview by default question comes, what is testing? Or what is SAP testing? Then you have to explain, testing is the process of verifying, validating, or checking the objects that has been developed by the development team based on the client requirements. Okay? And what we test, primarily part of the testing activity, we check the functionalities, the screens, the transactions, the data flow, the reintegration, authorization, security, performance, and logic of the requirement or logic of the system. Clear? And then you have to say, after this you have to say, the testing activity is performed from both the side. From the development side, it is performed in the development server in UT client to perform the unit testing. But that is your development testing or unit testing. But the important testing that we are talking about today is the client testing or UAT testing, user acceptance testing. Here the client business UAT team or the business UAT team will perform the testing to see or to check whatever they are paying for, whatever functionalities they want in the system, it is there or not. Write down those. I tell you. Part of the testing, testing, write down, go ahead with the topic. Part of the testing, we as developers will be performing, part of the testing, we as developers will be performing the UT testing. Unit testing, in bracket write down unit testing, in the development server, in UT client, okay, the client will perform next separately you have to write the sentence part of unit testing we as developers will be performing the unit testing in the development server in ut client the client will perform the uat testing in the quality server in uat client or test client, that is called test client also. See the difference. Part of testing, we as developers will be performing unit testing in the development server in the UT client. Whereas the client will perform the UAT testing activities in the quality server because it is quality check, quality server in UAT client or we call it test client. Huh? Able to understand, Sushma. Review question. Where you perform UT, where you perform UAT? UT we perform in the development server in UT client. UAT we perform in the quality server in UAT client or test client. Already I have told you this in the landscape topic. Now this is the background of testing. So you have to understand more of the testing activities, what we do, how you do it. So question is how we do it. 